Hey, 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 it's your girl Jeff Free coming at you with another video. Feel free to hit the like, share, subscribe. Thanks for coming in to my channel. So, I just had some thoughts um, that I'd like to share about the whole Olivia, Livy Poo, aka um, Tuna Can, Tuna Lafiche. <laughs> and you know the rest of um her nicknames so i was listening to tmr and what came to me about the whole football debacle is this and that is listen so we all know Liv is who she is, right? Stubborn, rotten to the core, you know, doesn't have good character, egotistic, narcissistic, all of those things, right? Um, you know, I mean, listen, I could blame Gerard. Partially Gerard, I would say partially Gerard is to blame for that because he didn't really put his foot down while he was with Olivia. Um, but also, you have to give people, you know, time and grace to find themselves and find their voice. And sometimes men have to find their voice, too. Not all men come out, you know, being strong and alpha. Um, and I think we all, you know, we know that for the most part. And this just happens to be the case with Gerard. Because he didn't check Olivia <laughs> a long time ago. Um, because she was the actual child in the relationship. You know, the song, as the song goes, at your age, not your shoe size. And sometimes men typically, you know, women typically say, you know, men are that extra child in the relationship. In this case, you know, it was Liv. So she needed that discipline, quote unquote, and to be put in her place because of the way she was raised or the lack of how she was raised, you know what I'm saying, so, and, I mean, Gerard hadn't had the tools at that time, you know, um, he was still growing and learning, you know, and a lot of men feel like, um, they don't realize that all women are not, you know, um, princesses and queens. And so until they go through something where, you know, a woman, a woman abuses them and treats them poorly, they hold women up to a higher regard. And I mean, at the end of the day, Nobody deserves respect. You earn respect. Okay. Um, and in Olivia's case, you know, she's never been um, the type of woman to to be deserving. Of a man who really, you know, um, went out there and slayed the dragons for her. But Gerard did put in his best, best effort. You know, he made mistakes along the way. We all made mistakes. Nobody's perfect. That goes without saying. That's why I hate that that phrase, nobody's perfect. Because that just, that goes without saying, right? But he did the best that he could. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure Olivia did the best that she could in her own you know, in her own mind. But, so I say all of that to say, my solution for this parenting situation and what I hope 
ultimately can come out of this at this point is because Olivia has such has this idea in her mind that she wants to be consulted with, she wants to have a conversation with Gerard, she wants to be able to speak with him. I think that now might be the time, and I know they were supposed to have a conversation. I don't know what happened. They're supposed to have a, a, a little meeting with a mediator, I would imagine, where they could get some things out of, off their chest or whatever. I don't know what was supposed to come out of that situation, but I do feel like sooner than later, Gerard needs to have this conversation with Liv. Um, you know, as far as her wanting to be included, because listen, at the end of the day, as a mother, I I get where she's coming from. For example, when she said, you know, Gerard didn't ask me, you know, about um, Christian being in football. And I don't think he necessarily needed to, but now that you see that she's really feeling left out, he's going to have to do something to include this girl, whether you agree or, or not. Um, but as a mother, you know, she has a right to make those decisions. Maybe not, you know, uh, if, if we want to stick to the court papers, okay. Technically, she doesn't. But to keep the peace and to try to co-parent um, in a more positive way, Gerard, Gerard, Gerard is going to have to meet her where she is, um, all the animosity and all the, you know, everything that he's feeling about her. At this point, I would suggest, and this is my unsolicited advice, you know, as a 43-year-old woman, mother of two, um, you know, two different dads, single mom, um, my advice would be to speak to Olivia. Um, but under no circumstances, without, you know, um, not, you know, not by yourself. And if you had, you know, if you talk to her on the phone, absolutely a thousand percent record it. Never meet up with her without, you know, um, without an extra person, I would, you know, I would suggest another family member rather than Nisha and say, hey, listen, I know you may say, oh, I can't meet you by myself, but just for both our, you know, because of both what we both went through, and the accusations being thrown around, we have to have somebody um, to kind of protect us. Or um, maybe even both of y'all just record each other. If, if y'all was actually going to meet up without anyone, just to try to get to a place, you know, I don't know. Because it's always, with Olivia, it's always going to be, well, look at him. He can't do this or that by himself. And we all know why. You know, when you accuse somebody of kidnapping their children or, you know, attacking you on camera in front of a police station, how you can't ever really trust this person. So I would say just show up with someone in tow, press the record button, say, let's have a conversation. 
from now on, I will ask you what your, you know, which, what you think, you know, and for example, with the whole football thing, I, he could have said, Olivia, this is what I want to do. And, and for the future, from now on, because they said the, um, uh, Robin got basketball coming up. And and this is strictly for the kids. This ain't about Olivia no more. You can say, oh, well, she don't deserve it, but, 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 but. I, that's not even what it's about no more, okay? Fuck Olivia, fuck Gerard. It's about the kids. So in the future, he could say, you know, Liv, this is what I'm, th- you know, this is what I'm thinking about doing um, with the kids. This is something they're interested in. I, you know, I'm willing to pay. You don't have to come out of pocket for nothing. Just show up. This is where it's going to be. This is what it is. Tell me, you know, not in that order, but um, something similar. And ask her what she think. And is she okay with it? And hopefully he can convince her. And hopefully those walls will start coming down. But that's the only way, you know. I, I think Gerard is doing an amazing job as a father and Nisha as a stepmom. Um, but but to avoid situations like this in the first in the future where she did not, you know, let Christian participate in the picture and in the um because any little thing that she's gonna be able to spite Gerard for, she's going to do. And if he does not nip this in the bud now by making this girl feel included it's gonna continue to happen you know this is her last ditch effort to be able to have some kind of control and this is just the person that he decided to have children with you know so he doesn't get to say you know he doesn't um This won't absolve anytime soon because any time, any chance she gets to intervene and interject and disrupt because she is not able to control the situation at all, this is what's going to happen. And if he doesn't make this child, this heifer, feel included, then this is always going to be the case whenever she gets these kids on a day that, you know, they have activities. And another thing is he needs to assure her, even though I know she's, you know, she pops off and she, you know, Miss Keyboard Gangster and talk big shit behind a camera. He needs to reassure her that nobody is going to attack her. Because the other reason why she's not showing up to these games, even though she knows where they are, is because Olivia is petrified that this girl and her family is going to fuck her up, which they should, and I wish they would. But <laughs> but Gerard needs to reassure her that nothing is going to happen to her, Okay. And I get it. Like, if it was my... First of all, I wouldn't be talking shit that I couldn't back up, first of all. But second of all, um, you know, a Liv, Liv does this because she's never been beat up. She might have been bullied. But because she think... And the other day... And it's so funny because the other day I was um, looking up something on um, Lipstick Alley. You know, trust their resource for gossip and um all of those things. I was they had posted a video of her talking big shit about how you know she fight a man, she hit Gerard. All Gerard had to do was take one fist and pull it way to the back, and then you know he could literally like he could kill Liv right if he really wanted to, but him allowing her to you know, get her licks in, made her puff up, making her feel away. You know what I'm saying? And so 
that's why she able to come on here and talk her shit. Because I doubt that she's ever been beat up by a girl. Um, obviously, she's been bullied. But I don't know if anybody's ever really put, a female's ever really put hands on her. And then her getting away with hitting Rob because he ain't knocked the furniture out of her mouth. That made her feel cocky. So she feels like she can talk her shit behind a camera. Knowing good and damn well that in person... You know, she gonna run. Um, the minute she thinks somebody about to get in that ass. So he needs to reassure her that ain't nobody gonna do nothing to her as long as he around. Um, you know, and basically get it. Um, give this girl some, um, semblance of feeling like she's got some input that's I mean other than that she's gonna continue to do these things um and it's you know and uh, and like I said it's it's all her fault obviously but at some point Somebody's going to have to give, and it's going to have to be him. And that's just my opinion. You may not agree or whatever. So, um, But that was just my thoughts on that. So this person said, I'm tired of Gerard's goody, goody ass. I mean, what else can you do? It was her weekend. And therein lies the reasoning behind everything that I said. Um, And then as far as the whole football thing, listen, I didn't want my son to participate in football, but I told his father, you know, if that's what you want to do, then you're going to have to, you know, fund all of it. And he ended up not putting our son in football, but I told him I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't want my baby getting hurt. Like a lot of moms, they don't, you know, they don't want their baby to get hurt on the field. And that's what I told him my reason why, and Gerard could have, you know, kind of reassured her, like, hey, listen, they all the same age, they all little, this is a peewee league, ain't nobody getting blows to the head and all that carrying on in no peewee league, you know, and if for one second he says he doesn't want to play, then I will take him out, you know, but that conversation actually should have happened. And she should have been, and not just because I'm saying what I'm saying, but, you know, she did have valid concerns about football. Because, I mean, again, like I said, I felt the same way in in any activity, for that matter, regardless if he's funding it or not, because obviously on her weekend, her two weekends out the month, she's going to be, have that control. So you can say what you want. Whatever, whatever. It's better for him to, you know, at least um, speak with her, have it recorded, you know, let her say what she's got to say, you know, and, and he needs to put his foot down. Because I think more than anything, Olivia, it's a twofold situation. Yes, Olivia is a grown ass woman. She's 30 some years old, a mother of three. Olivia has never had a father. Um, she claims to have had a stepfather, allegedly. You know, I don't know how for how long. Could have been that long a period. Um, because it don't sound like her mother did too much raising of her. You know, her 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 backstory is is pretty shaky, you know. We don't know the ins and outs of and, and, and I just don't believe whoever the stepfather was, was that available to Olivia, okay? Um, to the extent that it would affect her 
having it, it, it that it wouldn't affect her having daddy issues. Where was your biological father? Because you never talk about him. And this whole stepfather thing, I mean, she to me, she making it more than what it is because she's on here talking about my stepfather would never and, you know, and he was there for me and my sister, but he would never overstep. Girl, anyway. Um, but I said that to say, Olivia yearns for correction. Okay, so in my opinion, the first thing Gerard needs to say is, listen, you know, as opposed to yelling at her, I know he's upset, but gather himself enough to say, listen, we're going to have this conversation, but I'm telling you now, you're going to respect me and I'm going to respect you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, you know, I'll let you speak. You let me speak. I hear you. You hear me. You know, lay down some, some rules. Because Olivia is not used to rules. She's not used to being told no. She's not used to being put in her motherfucking place. You know, granted, that was for her parents to do. But what happens is, when that doesn't happen, when you're a child, you become a bigger child, okay? And then you still behave in a way that is childlike. You know, therefore, it leads to those narcissistic tendencies and that behavior of, um, you know, you know, not getting your way and, and, and um, behaving like, like a juvenile, like she is. So he needs to lay down the law, put it all out on the table, be firm, be consistent, include her, and then see what the outcome would be. I think he would get much better results with that as opposed to, you know, ignoring her completely and just dealing with her through this app thing. Um, because I do believe the older these kids get, the more they're going to reject Olivia anyway. But they, they stay at an age where they still, where they're not um, that vocal yet. And they want to please their mom and please their dad. But when they get to that age, 12 and up, the oldest one, she going to be the first one because she closest. To being a preteen, but the mother too got you know a few more years before they start to be like, hold up, hold up, my mom tripping. I don't like what you said or how you said it. You know what I'm saying? They got a little ways to go, so Gerard need to um, put this. Um, on the table now and address it now because it's not going to be cute. Um, let's see. I don't get your harping. Get the harping on what your rod did in the past. We all have said and done dumb things. Let me see how many minutes. Oh, it's been 24 minutes already. He's not letting her get away with everything. She's providing evidence against herself. Okay. So I think that's all I got for this video. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe. 
and I will see y'all in the next. Let me see. Oh, so this person said it just occurred to me. Olivia is just doing everything to force Gerard to communicate with her. He's not taking him. Her not taking to the game is to get him to consult her. And as the mother, she is dealing with him in respect. She came to Texas not because of the children, but to cause as much trouble as she can. And I also believe she is there to mess with Gerard's last relationship. Sad to say, what Tuna does not realize, every action has a reaction. Yeah, I don't know who this person is, but I was in TMR's um, chat thing, and they um, posted like three times the same thing. All his father should have done is tell Olivia where the football practice is at, so stop putting her down. Gerard didn't even tell her. You guys only talk bull crap. I don't know if that's Olivia or Jasmine or her sister. Shit, it could be Stella. Anyway, um, this person said, since I'm a third shifter up to wee hours in the morning, what nothing to do? I happen to see this comment left on a reactive video about this evil, vile creature. So I clicked the profile. I'm the curious type. Anyway, I'm trying to live in the spirit of non-judgment, but this is weird. Is this her? Since you want to be wrong and loud, you're kidding me to believe it. Have lies. She has you know many under others under her spell. Okay. So, on that note, I'm going to end this video. Thanks for tuning in. Get in the comment section. Tell me what you think, and we shall um return with another video. <laughs>